Hey, what's going on, Valor Almost Vanguards? In today's DJ tutorial, we're gonna discuss how to organize your music by energy level. So this is another underappreciated topic. I think like leveling, volume, gain, trim knobs as a DJ. But if you understand your tracks, not necessarily by genre, not by BPM, not by even key, but understand them by energy level. How does it enhance the atmosphere or stabilize the mood of the venue, you're going to be that much further along in terms of knowing which tracks to select at which times. So the system that I use is within Rekordbox you have five stars. There's actually a column that you can incorporate. It's a rating. And I, I use this for energy level, not for whether I like the track or not. That, that doesn't matter. It's how it's, it's the energy level and how the crowd is going to react. So one star is low energy level that's like chill music that you play at the very very beginning of the night or the very very end is like a or like slow dance music five star is the biggest bangers on top 40 radio or the biggest edm energetic bangers three stars is usually gonna be like a pop top 40 or maybe even hip-hop song that's recognizable but not excruciatingly high energy four star is more like head bumping not not the ampings that that's like moving towards the peak hour and it's getting people excited and, and amped up and then two star is not quite completely chill but not in that neutral zone either at three star but one one star two star are chill three stars kind of in the middle four stars like a build-up and five stars peak energy and if you can move from the opening part of your set to the peak hour to the clo closing using this star system you will be that much more organized and then effective when you're making track selections because at the end of the day as a DJ, it is all about making decisions and making those decisions fast and knowing when to select which songs at what time. And the more you can shorten this decision-making cycle, the more effective you will be as a DJ because you will be able to dedicate those extra seconds of time towards other tasks such as getting on the microphone or doing more effects or surveying the crowd, which if you're playing at peak hour, you may not have as much time as you think to survey the crowd, but you really do need that time to assess how you're performing live in that moment. And if you're organized with your star system within your record box DJ software, and you know which songs have the highest amount of energy, which have the low and which are in the middle, you will be able to move through the various phrases of your overall set, which could be opening, build up, peak hour, and then closing. And the closing may not be as low energy as the opening, but it's probably, it's definitely gonna be lower than the peak hour. So I like to have it in kind of four phases. You have bam, the opening here, kind of chill. You have the build up, you have the peak hour, and then you have the closing that's gonna be down here, maybe even with the build up or maybe lower, but not quite as low as when I first started. So. That's very similar to actually the way that producers create songs. A lot of times the intro and the first verse is very chill and then it fills up to the drop. The second verse is going to be less energy, but more than the first verse. And then you have the second drop, which may be the maximum energy. And then the outro is a bit less than that. So think of your set structures in the same way as producers create these songs and you will not get it to go wrong. So if you want to learn more about playing live as a DJ, then click this video right here. Three, two, one, lose it.